Beautiful good afternoon to you from Panuka Farm. Um, this is yours truly, Mr. Panuka. And today uh, we're coming live from Panuka Farm 2. Uh, it's been a while since we gave you an update on how Panuka Farm 2 is uh, doing. Um, apparently we had quite a lot of uh, you know, issues um, because of the heavy you know, rains. Uh, the roads leading to the farm actually became impassable. So bringing heavy machinery, you know, like cranes and uh, just some trucks to bring in, uh, you know, farm inputs was actually quite, uh, you know, a tall order. Um, so we temporarily had to suspend, uh, you know, the ongoing, you know, processes of uh, setting up, you know, best infrastructure here at uh, Panuka Farm 2. Um, so today um, we've uh, resumed uh, with uh, setting up the best infrastructure and um, um, the big one is the water infrastructure and uh, uh, in the background, um, I think behind me, you can actually see a tall, uh, you know, uh, water tower uh, and a tank on top of it. Uh, so what I'll do shortly is just show you the process that we went through uh, to put together uh, that infrastructure. This is very, very critical. Uh, because as they say water is life and uh, if you don't have water on the farm it's very difficult for you to do uh, anything uh, tangible okay so let's dig in uh, you know we just show you and walk you through the process that uh, uh, we went through to put together um, that uh, water tank um, and we'll actually give you the specifications of the tower uh, as we uh, roll on with uh, you know the updates all right so join us so this is the tank stand that we constructed 10 meters long above the ground and 1.5 meters into uh, the ground there's two channels that you see the four um you know we're actually 13.5 meters uh, long the intention is that we didn't want to cut them and start welding them given you know the height as we develop panuka farm 2 um, the intention is that we need to use the lessons that we have learned uh, from panuka 1 uh, to make sure that we fix some of the you know issues that uh, you know probably went wrong in developing Panuka Farm One, and here is the trench you know for the tank, 1.5 meters uh, deep. Hey, um, you can actually see the crane is on side. The plumber is also on site, you know, ready to rumble. Um, we needed to make sure that uh, you know all these cues are you know on site. That's very, very critical to make sure that we have, uh, you know, a smooth, um, you know, task. So we had the welders, builders, plumbers, and of course the support staff, you know, on site uh, to get this job uh, done. So that you can go with me. That's all that you can go with me. Okay. So the base of this trench has about 30 centimeters thickness uh, of uh, concrete and the mesh of Y16. So these two channels are actually meant to rest uh, in that uh, trench that uh, we just uh, showed you. To look at the thickness, uh, you know, similar to the ones that uh, are used in, you know, the rail industry as uh, slippers. Given the height of 10 meters, um, we had to make sure that uh, they were quite strong and uh, unfortunately they're quite, uh, you know, uh, expensive. You can actually see we also have, you know, a ladder, you know, at the top there to climb, you know, uh, up to the top of the tank stand. Here, the 150 by 50 you know, timber support just being put together. Uh, this is where the tank is meant to, to rest. Um, so that was on. For tasks such as this one, you've got to make sure that you've got a very credible and formidable uh, you know, team of experts. Here we have our crane operator now getting ready to rumble, uh, given that the team is uh, almost full. So the team is now anchoring the tank stand. Um, so the rationale is that uh, it's anchored at the center so that it's uh, moved closer to the trains um, so that's that's what the team was doing here very meticulous uh, process uh, slowly but getting you know there
here is just a closer look, um, you know, more assurance on just the quality board and nuts. Um, it's quite some heavy, you know, weight here, 10,000 liters of water. Um, and looking at the height, uh, we just had to get it right. Um, so quite happy with the team that uh, worked on this and uh, we've been working with this team, the world has uh, for some time, even at Panuka Farm 1. Um, so again, no gambling on uh, the expertise that uh, you know you recruit to put together some of this. So the crane is gently lifting the tank stand, taking it closer to the trench, uh, closer to the ground at this point. Um, and of course the team removing some of the obstacles um, the support that was used to anchor um, the tungsten while it, it was being uh, constructed. So now that the tungsten has uh, reached near the trench, um, one of our team members had to unhook, um, now ready to go and anchor it uh, from the top so that now it could be lifted into the air. <laughs> Our plumber getting ready, um, quite a process but he's almost there because of course after the lift of the tank stand it's the tank that's going up so it needs to be ready. So the crane was also being prepared now for the heavy lift because the tank stand was going to be suspended in the air. So the crane operator now um, just making sure that uh, the hooking is right and tight enough because this is a moment of reckoning. Uh, if anything goes wrong while it's the, the tank stand is in the air, um, that would be disastrous given the costs um, you know, involved in putting this together. But also it's a risk you know, part of the staff uh, near. So quite a very you know, a tricky uh, moment. Here we go, the moment of record. <laughs> Truth be told, at this point, Mr. Panuka was just like, whoa, 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 saying some silent prayers uh, to make sure that, uh, you know, this structure gets uh, into the trench without any shenanigans of any kind. Slowly it's getting there, just looking out for anything falling off. Some nerve breaking moments there. Um, yeah. I think it's quite understandable, quite a costly, you know, structure to put together and you only pray to make sure that uh, this gets there uh, correctly. Given the sensitivity of some of these operations and the cost that is uh, involved, this is why we say uh, make sure that you contract real experts for some of this uh, in a base infrastructure. It was time now for the team to assist, you know, the crane. Um, this is in positioning um, the tank, you know, stand into the trench, uh, making sure that uh, it rests uh, on those Y16s where it's supposed to be anchored and uh, welded uh, so that it's firmly uh, positioned. So at this point, the whole tank stand 10 meters was suspended in the air. This crane is about 18 meters uh, long, so it was good for the job. So small as it looks, but uh, it was doing the job.
So again, this is why we said you need enough manpower on the ground um, because there are some of these other tasks that still needs to be done manually to help the crane. Um, the crane would never do, you know, everything. Um, so remember, we need to anchor it on those, uh, um, you know, y Y16s that are anchored into uh, the ground. So now that uh, the tank stand is firmly uh, in the ground, now it's time for the welders to do their thing, uh, making sure that it's uh, properly anchored into the ground. So the rationale is that uh, this tank stand needs to be firmly positioned into the ground before the tank is put on top to avoid any movements. And of course, our plumber in the background also doing his thing, uh, the rope pipe. that would be used to hook uh, this uh, <laughs> tank to take it on top of the tank stand. Hey! <laughs> So when transporting this tank, uh, it got a bit deformed. Uh, that is normal when you put it on a truck. Uh, so we were just trying to fix it. Well, Usually when you put right. water, water does the uh, you know fixing. Um, but uh, we wanted to make sure that it was firmly rooted on top of the uh, tank. <laughs> And finally, here we go, the tank lifting, uh, the tank is firmly positioned, um, the welders have done their thing, uh, so there's also someone on top there to receive the tank, uh, just make sure that it's uh, well positioned. Uh, again, faith in the uh, crane you know, operator that they get it right, this is why do not you know, gamble on some of these uh, you know, operations, make sure you get uh, what I call baptized, you know, experts. <laughs> That's kind of what we mean is that get people that know the job, uh, avoid experimentation uh, for some of these delicate you know, operations. So if you're in Zambia, you know that BMK you know, is one of the household names in some of these operations. So why? Yeah, we had to go for the best. So now that the tank you know, is on top there. Uh, more welding to make sure that uh, the structure is fully, uh, you know, firmed up. And here, the builders are also getting ready. Uh, you want to see shortly uh, what they were going to do inside there to make sure that uh, uh, the structure is also fully uh, anchored into the ground. There you go, the world is doing their thing. So, like we indicated, uh, this trench um, was dug sometime in about January. And uh, what we did was to put, you know, uh, some concrete at the bottom, uh, about 30 centimeters. Apparently, these two builders are the ones that did that. And uh, now, what they're doing is to, you know, build around each of those, um, you know, four. Uh, steel uh, support uh, structures uh, and then what will happen is that we pour some concrete uh, in each of those four uh, you know uh, areas uh, so that this structure is firmly uh, you know rooted um, you know and avoid any issues of uh, wind blowing it. <music>while it's the other team was finalizing some of the works on the tank stand we had to look into their welfare uh, after such a hard what did you job you the need to have a real meal and uh, in the Zambian Jack. context nothing does you know a better job than ship and of course on the side we also had pumpkins, quite a lot of uh, you know stuff hey. from the farm uh, so the team was really you know, heading for a treat after such a tough job so while it's the meals we're getting ready uh the other team was still busy doing some back feeding uh so it's mouth tasking you know when you're doing some of these um, uh, projects all the units uh you know operating at full capacity <laughs>
All right, so that's the update uh, on our water infrastructure here at Panuka Farm 2. Uh, pretty soon, we'll actually give you an update when we put together a um, solar system. As you know, uh, Panuka Farm operates 100% on uh, you know, solar power, and uh, we'll be hooking you know, a solar you know, system to pump water into uh, this tank. Um, so yeah, uh, look out on the Panuka you know, Farm YouTube um, channel. Using you know, the lessons learned you know, from Panuka Farm, one uh, to develop uh, Panuka Farm two. Um, of course, some of the realities is that you will not move at the same you know pace that you wanted. I uh, remember we had actually wanted to be on site quite early, um, around November December last year, 2020. But again, you remember climate change, so the heavy rains derailed us, and uh, here we are. So we anticipate a few more delays um, in just deploying critical infrastructure that we need to get going. Um, in terms of production. So pretty soon we will actually be uh, disking this whole land here um, in readiness for you know production but of course um, as it were we've got to test the soils uh, and then from there you know we actually look at what um, you know crops are we going to do here. We have you know some crops in mind um, but we have to actually see whether they are compatible with the land that we have here. So, of course, we have not been idle, you know, uh, during the time that we had heavy rains. Uh, so, some things were, you know, going on. Uh, you can actually see we had did a bit of clearing here, left some forests, uh, just making sure that the place, you know, looks beautiful. Um, and, of course, uh, what you see there in the background is the storeroom. Um, again, not too big, but functional, big enough, uh, you know, for what we want to do here. Uh, so, that's the structure. Uh, the same builders that you actually saw, you know, working on the tank stand, uh, that's the team that also put together uh, this uh, uh, infrastructure. So let's just get in um, so that you appreciate uh, some of the, you know, aspects of this uh, uh, storeroom. So what you actually see is that we used some steel, you know, palings on the top, uh, minimizing the use of uh, timber. Let's now get to the farm dwellings that we've also constructed, you know, for staff. Um, Coming up is the toilet. That's a very critical infrastructure that you need to have uh, you know, on the farm. Uh, we don't want people scampering in the bush to answer the call of nature. So there's need for decency on the farm. Uh, this is one of the best infrastructure that we actually see that it's actually missing on a number of farms. Uh, so ensure that that is well done. So that's a bathing room and uh, you know, uh, a toilet. And then coming up, the infrastructure that you actually see here, uh, this is the farm, you know, kitchen for staff, partitioned in three. Why three? Because the flats that we actually constructed for the staff are three. So we want to make sure that there's independence. Each of the staff, they have their own, you know, well-partitioned, you know, kitchen. Um, avoid unnecessary, you know, friction on the farm. So design the infrastructure with that in, in, in mind. Of course, that comes with experience when you've run, you know, a uh, so to close the day, we still had to get to Panuka Farm 1 from Panuka Farm 2, even after such a grueling day. But look at the beautiful, you know, sceneries on our way to Panuka Farm, you know, 1. Uh, this is our road and uh, we get to enjoy, you know, such a, you know, beautiful nature. And uh, this is the road that we use. We don't have, you know, tough wheels uh, to pass through some of these roads. Um, but we're enjoying it. So, folks, have a lovely one and uh, we appreciate you, you know, coming through on Panuka Farm, our YouTube channel. Bye-bye.